Hey everybody, Mattis Faction here, and uh, this is just another quick opening from the Apex group. Uh, I just did Gary's box. I opened it, got the conspirator, and uh, I realized I forgot to do a beverage check. I'm just chugging water right now. My stomach hasn't been, you know, up to snuff. And I forgot to point out the EDC roundtable in the other video. But there's said Stevie. So we're just going to open this up. This is the Apex Pass Around group. And I believe this is the uh, Benchmade Shootout. But I'll be careful, you know. Here we go. Yep, that's it. No stickers. No stickers. All right, here it is. No paperwork. Oh. Woo! So this is the Benchmade Shootout. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I'll give it that. I thought it was going to be pretty heavy. And, you know, I thought it was more straight. This has kind of got a curve to it, but here we go. It looks like someone uh, maybe sharpened it. Wasn't me. I poked with it. Lots of wiggle. I do like the size of the the switch, though. I like a big switch. And it gives you a nice thumb ramp. You know, it's cool, but, uh, you know, it's plastic, so it kind of feels like it's on the, it kind of feels cheap. It's light. All the weight right now is back here, but if I extend it, then, you know, of course, all the weight's there. But you would think maybe closed. The weight would be distributed because of the blade, but most of the weight's back here. Probably because of the clip and this thing. But it's plastic. It just feels cheap. Uh, you know, being Apex, I don't know if I'm allowed to cut with it, but this is crew wear. So this thing should hold a pretty good edge. You know what? I'm going to cut with it. I'm going to find something. But what? What can I cut? I found a post office receipt. So here it is, cutting paper. You could definitely cut other things, you know, steak. Whatever you want, you know? It's your knife. This one's not my knife. You know, the glass breaker leaves a nice little dent. I'm going to do a better review on this, but you know what? This handle. It makes it feel so cheap. There's a stickers. Oh. All right, sorry for calling you out. Sorry, buddy. Shoe Monster EDC, that's who sent it to me. <clears throat> yeah, reversible pocket clip. I, I like the switch. You know, it's like a big shark fin. The blade's cool. I like this and this, but this... I don't like. When I think of automatic knives, I think of aluminum. You know, that's probably Microtech's fault or whoever, but just every single one that I've used has always been aluminum or some kind of steel or something. Oh, 
I don't know. It's kind of a letdown so far. But let me carry it. It's probably due to the weight, but you know, titanium, aluminum, that's lightweight. And it just sounds cheap. Can you hear the springs rattling? Uh, so, you know, here's a different one. This is sturdy. You don't hear any springs rattling. You just hear the blade kind of go in there. But this one feels sturdy. And it's got that cool sound. This one does, but it's louder. Probably because of the plastic. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm going to come back to it. But in the meantime, you know, meh. Zach, you're such a cool dude. But meh. I expected more. And I don't, I don't even know what the price of this is, but I know it's not cheap. But I bet you this thing costs 20 bucks to make. All right, that's enough. That's all I got for you. So far, meh, I would take something else. It's more subdued sound. It feels, feels like it's ready to work. This feels like it's, uh, you know, like I got it at the swap meet. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to check it out more. We'll see. Maybe it's uh, maybe there's more to it. You should never judge a book by its cover. There might be surprises in store with this knife. We'll see. We will see. I mean, Lord of the Rings started out as a little hobbit venturing out. You didn't know what to expect. And then they saved the world. Middle Earth. I don't know. I've never seen the movies. The point is, they did it, and you didn't think they would. So maybe that bench made right there. Maybe that's it. Oh, it's carbon fiber. It's not plastic. It's carbon fiber elite, but it does not feel like carbon fiber. It feels plasticky and cheap. They should have done better. Anyway, we'll see. But in the meantime... Check out said Stevie, EDC Roundtable, The Last Ranger, Forrest Hanks, Gonzo Reviews. You can't see these, but there's an M-bomb down there, and you know, check out all those channels. Uh, in the meantime, I'll catch you next time.